Hello folks and welcome Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Today I'm going to talk about Plank. It's a dock. Is it perfect? No. I'm going to show you tips and tricks. I'll talk about resizing the Plank. I'll talk about resizing icons on the Plank, removing them, adding them, rearranging the furniture, moving it from the top to bottom, bottom to top, left to right, and uh, it can also coexist with your current panel bar all about the plank today filming in 1080 welcome folks if you're not a subscriber think about it icon is in the corner if you want to uh, try out plank i'm going to open up software manager and uh, it looks like a boat anchor so install that i'll also talk about the importance of uninstalling it toward the latter part of the video and also the fact i'll talk about auto starting this also a little bit of details here today. So the plank. We're going to first talk about um, basic usage and then we're going to go with auto start or maybe I should start there. All right, let me, yeah, let me do that first. So the auto start, um, you want this probably starting when you uh, log in. If you, if you don't and do this here, you'll have to manually start this every time. So I'm going to remove this. So you may want to do this. You go to your system settings, startup applications, and hit the plus key. Choose an application. Now you can scroll down to the P's after you installed Plank, or you can just type in P-L-A-N-K. And then click that and hit add. And that should have the activation of on. All right, so once this is on, when you log in or out or restart your computer or reboot, it will turn this automatically back on. So, and you can, uh, we'll talk about when you uninstall that, you want to remove that too. Anyways, once you install uh, Plank, it'll either appear underneath this panel or on top of it. And currently I have this in a different mode than normal. So I'm going to um, first hold down my control key and right click to get to preferences. All right, so I'm going to turn that from transparent to default so you can see what it looks like. My current panel you can see is on top of it right now. If that's the affliction that you have, you can turn this off or auto hide your panel. Okay, you can do it from here or you can right click and also do it from here. Auto hide works best for this portion of it. So to get to settings, um, I'm going to right click on any one of these icons and you can see it says keep in dock. If I uncheck that, it goes away. I'm going to put software manager back online. Okay. All I did was click on it to turn it on. And then what I'm going to do is, is providing, you can also minimize it if the dock disappears, is to right click and keep in dock. That's how you add applications. You can also move these. So here, the blue light special just means that it's currently on or it's running in the background just like my simple screen recorder so you can click it and close and the blue light special goes away so the bottom of this panel if you can see that is also um, removable the icon sizes are also adjustable so how to do this rather simply is to right click on any one of these things and you'll see keep and dock or if you hold down the control key and do the same you'll see preferences so let's do the zooming factor and I'll just go up from the bottom so if I turn this on I'm sorry off uh, you don't get any zooming if you turn this back on I have it set for jumbo if you want dinky then you slide it this way you can barely see any change you go kinda in between you get a little bit more of effect so again, 200 is maximum. What about the icon sizes? So if you decide to use icons that are 16 by 16 that are custom, uh, I would uh, rethink that. But uh, you may get some weird effects. But the bottom end is 24. These icons are coming from the system. They're not custom icons. 128 is maximum. If you're trying to squeeze in X amount of icons, because the more icons you add, of course, the wider this gets. Um, you may want to reduce that. Okay, so as I add more icons, um, I will pick on web apps for a second. 
you can see it appear over here and uh, I'm actually going to show you how to create one of these too a little bit later if you're curious but uh, web apps again doing that right click keep in dock before you close it okay that'll make it remain here so I can click this a little, little bit later to play with so as you can see this this panel is growing this dock is growing so um, the icons again are done this way from 24 to 128 and somewhere in between okay the alignment is the next item I'm going to talk about is currently center we can do the fill which drags that line underneath the icons completely from the screen from left to right filming in 1080 we can do start which kind of moves them over to the left side of the screen or end moves them to the right side of the screen and we can do fill if I can click on it there we go center is default you can slightly bump this also if you're trying to do some weird alignments okay and keep in mind anything with the blue light special is currently open hiding in the background like my simple screen recording this video with that all right so that's default I've been asked many times about dual monitors and all that good stuff I don't use those Okay, I use nothing but large screens and I use windows when I do that kind of stuff. That's why I use 43 inch screens. More importantly, let's move on. So the position is bottom currently. We can do also top. And we can also do right. Now what are the benefits of something like that? Well, it all depends. Uh, now I have these things at maximum. So I would probably want to reduce the icon sizes just a little bit. Um, maybe I want to do um, add another icon in here and these are very big so let me put the panel or sorry the dock right control key control key right click preferences I'm gonna put this back to the bottom for a second and I'm gonna add the calculator okay just to let you see it okay and I'm gonna right click and keep in dock now I'm going to turn this thing off and change this from that to right so calculator is currently at the bottom All right, icon sizes maybe different sizes you want is that good enough okay I'm going to reactivate this panel where it's always on so they can coexist together so I have different icons here different icons here I'm just going to open up a browser just to let you see this effect. So if I were to uh, move this across here, they goes away. If I go full screen, I chose to keep the panel on the top of this, but this one is not. So now I can grab a hold of my calculator in case I wanted that. It's one example. Right click, panel. Right click, panel, not applets. Intelligently hide. Now, I, I can do that while this is over here. So if I go full screen, everything hides themselves. I have icons here, and I have icons on the bottom. And I have a web browser that I can play with. You know, doing that kind of stuff. This may be a benefit to some, maybe not to others. All right, right click, panel, auto hide. Holding down the control key while clicking on uh, right clicking on any of these icons, preferences. All right, we can also do left and we can go back to the bottom if you like. Okay. Theme default has line underneath there, right? Transparency at the bottom, it doesn't have a line. They look like they're floating. get the better idea this way okay switching back all right let's talk about behavior just very briefly you have IntelliHide, auto hide and then dodge uh, maximize window dodge and dodge active 
Then we have docklets. Docklets are interesting. Uh, looks like a puzzle piece. So you can double click and you'll get the clock. Down here. This clock is configurable from digital, also 24 hour, and you can show the date also. Put it in the center where so you can see it better. Don't like it? Pull it straight up and goes poof. You can also do it this way. Poof. CPU monitor, kind of weird looking, but CPU and memory. Poof. I don't. I'm not using a laptop, so this is not going to be pertinent for me. And uh, why would I want a trash can when I got the file manager here, complete with a trash can? I, I wouldn't. But maybe I'd want this one. Maybe. So what if I do it this way? Well, you could do it that way, or you can just double click. Um, so when you click this icon, you may end up with what does it do though? Well, you need to right click on it. Have you ever used an XFCE desktop? If you have, this may look familiar to you. It's a shortened version of this menu. Right click, accessories, graphics. It's the same thing as if I click graphics in here. Got four items there. Got three items there. Hmm, one is missing. Mostly the same. Document scanner wasn't in there. Anyways, um, poof. Rearranging the furniture. I told you none of this stuff is perfect. Well, it's not too bad though. All right, so it's hold down your control key, right click, preferences, and we can go with mat also. Or we can go with the standard default. That has a little bar underneath there. Big icons, I'm almost out of room. Okay, 128. Probably want to reduce that in size if that's what I'm kind of concerned with. So I can add more toys. Okay, behavior, docklets, and more importantly, auto start. If you don't put this in here, you may have to manually start this every time. Again, I've also seen where the panel is here and the dock, plank dock is on top of the panel. Now, just a brief discussion on uh, you know Linux in general. Linux, uh, any Linux desktop goes through changes over time, just like uh, Linux Mint. You know, things change, software changes, some things work one day, they don't work another day, that kind of thing. Some things are incompatible, you get the idea. You know, this is today. Things may be different tomorrow. All right, let's talk about uninstalling. Oh, actually, I was gonna give you that bonus feature, sorry. All right, I'm gonna create a web-based icon. Anyone can do this, and I do have additional videos for this. I'll do one for amazon.com. You like shopping there? Some people do. I bet things there www.amazon.com. This tool can also be used where you cut and paste websites into that address bar. And you can also do this uh, with a very special tool if you watch my video, how to do this with your home router. This is generally made for websites, but I show in one of my videos how you can create an icon for your home router. All right, don't expect it to find all your web-based icons. You may have to use the find icons online or you may have to manually assign icons. You can even do silly stuff like emojis. I like navigation bars so I'm going to do that. This is a creation tool. You can create web-based icons usually in 10 seconds. All right, I'm going to open that up from the main menu because I need to open it up first before I can save it into the plank doc. Now I'm going to keep in doc. Okay, I'll reopen and close it. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the tool. And now you can put your own web-based icons. You can certainly do that through a web browser with your bookmarks. But sometimes it's nice to have just a dedicated icon. So you can go, well, shopping. You can also zoom in and out of this thing. You can also hit another 
tab if you like. This always opens in Amazon first. Just wanted to point that out to you. Now let's talk about uninstalling. All right, first of all, I would suggest using Software Manager. You can certainly uninstall through the menu too, but this is pretty easy to do. Show installed apps, click that and do the removal. Once you've got the application removed, my suggestion to you is to, at a bare minimum, log in and out or do a restart. If you decide to reinstall Plank, there is a high probability it'll remember these icons because not all settings are totally removed. There will be some config files that I believe it will actually pull these back. But if not, you can always put them back and you can also Again, rearrange the furniture, put the panels on different positions, and don't forget about this thing right here. All right, if Plank is uninstalled, it's not gonna try to install that, but you may wanna just remove that. It's that simple after you uninstall it. And then of course, either do a restart or log in and out. Thank you for watching.